Hey, Sash. The overall energy and love for you is the chaser. Chaser in codependent relationship, fear of abandonment issue. The dragonfly, be lighthearted, finding out, things coming to light, adapt, change, and heal. And the snake, competition, enemy, clever, malicious, look over your shoulder and the other woman. So for a good bit of you, you're connected to someone or were connected to somebody where the two of you may have had a runner chaser type of dynamic. One could have been chasing, the other was running from the connection. So let's get right into it. In the past, you have the Hermit with the Knight of Pentacles, the Three of Swords, and the Three of Wands. Could easily be dealing with a Virgo, any air sign, or any fire sign. But for a lot of you, it looks like you will have been on this path with this person that has been taking a very long time to progress. I feel like you are being patient with this person. Some of you feel detached from this person. Some of you could have been had a breakup. Some of you are in a relationship with this person and things have been kind of painful. There could be a slight separation where the two of you don't feel as connected to each other anymore. Others of you straight up broke up. You've been going down a certain type of path with this person just to find yourself heartbroken at the end of the line. It's possible there could be another person here. Some of you, I feel like you took a step back to try to heal and focus on yourself, even if you are still in the relationship with this person. Others of you are doing this after the breakup. But I don't see this getting the best of you. I see you still being optimistic. I still see you feeling like, okay, this is a situation I've, I'm learning from or have learned from. I think a lot of you are still trying to look on the brighter side of life and things like that. Trying to take the experience as something you can learn from instead of something that's just bad that happened to you. But it does feel like you are going down some type of path with someone in the two of you's connection just to find yourself upset at the outcome. Which brings me to my current energy. You have the Temperance, the Five of Pentacles, the Star, and the Magician. For the ones of you that are still with this person, it does feel like you have accepted something that happened before, whatever causes heartbreak for you, whatever this pain or loss was in the past, you are healing from it. It feels like also, in, um, in a way, accepting something that happened as well and trying to make it work. Others of you that this where this was a breakup, the two, uh, I feel like uh, you may have not heard from this person for quite some time. This person is someone that you may feel like has abandoned you, but it still feels like a level of acceptance. And I see you still having this can-do attitude, like this is not gonna get me down. I'm still gonna remain positive. I'm still gonna move forward. I'm gonna find something else to focus my energy on. But it feels like a major level of acceptance and healing in this current energy to where before whatever this loss was or whatever this pain was that someone may have caused you had you feeling very low and now you're almost picking yourself back up telling yourself that you're confident enough to be able to fix something or manifest something bigger and better how you feel about this particular person you have the king of swords page of swords eight of swords and nine of wands reverse you feel this person is extremely intelligent like they have their head on straight for the most part that they're kind of cold, they don't really have much of a soft side to them. They're very diplomatic and very just straightforward and kind of emotionally detached to the point where you may have questions about their feelings. This person may be having you kind of doubt your own thoughts and feelings. This person, in a way, kind of confuses you. At the same time, you also feel like this person has given up on you as well. You may feel like this person is no longer fighting for this connection with you anymore, whether you're still together or broken up. And it's caused a lot of confusion and doubts and blocks for you mentally. Some of you may feel like this person is the one that is confused or feeling stuck. You could feel like this person feels like they're stuck in a connection with you or that they feel stuck in other ways, you can feel like they feel stuck or some of you feel stuck because this person has been coming off a certain type of way to you in a coldish, emotionally detached type of way. And it's leaving you real confused, leaving you with a lot of questions that need answering. Some of you may feel like you need to give up because you feel like you're not getting anywhere with this person for real. You can also feel like they're very blunt and very straight to the point with you and that they are very brutally honest. And I feel like for some reason, you might not always like that part. How they feel about you is the Eight of Wands, Two of Cups, Ace of Cups, and Queen of Cups reverse. Now for a good bit of you, they do want to move forward with you, but I feel like it's just so the two of you could be on the same page. I feel like there has been a lot of arguing. I feel like they at least want to communicate some things to you so that they can move past that. 
Uh, they do feel like you are a bit closed off at times. Some of you may come off actually very emotionally unstable to this person. So take that part with a grain of salt. You'll know if it's for you or not. Others of you is very closed off. You may not always express your emotions. Sometimes you may be a little too overly emotional. I feel like it's a balance of both. I think it's a mix of both. This person may see you as somebody who's cold one minute or like overly emotional the next. I keep thinking that this feels like, these, this two of cups and ace of cups, this feels like them wanting to be with another person. I don't know why I keep getting that, but I feel like whatever this was in the past that hurt you, they're wanting to move forward with that. So I'm guessing there is a third energy here. And I really wanna say that this person kinda wants to move forward in their love life and kind of start to connect with somebody else and kinda blend and mesh with someone else romantically. But I still also wanna say that this person wants to still come out of conflict with you and want to be able to talk to you and connect with you and things like that. But for some reason, I also feel like they feel that's not possible with you either. They may have some things that they want to say to you that they feel like you might not hear. I don't know what that would be, but it does feel like they want to express their feelings to you, but they feel like you wouldn't take it well. To them, for whatever reason, you're coming off emotionally unstable or overly sensitive, which is interesting because your advice is actually the Knight of Swords, the Queen of Swords, Ace of Pentacles, and the Seven of Swords. Your biggest advice is to express something that has been roaming through your head. You're being told to be just as blunt and forward and honest with them as they've kind of been. There's something that you need to get off of your chest, something that you need to talk about that has been stuck with you that you need to express and you need to do it soon. It may have something to do with the fact that somebody could be running. You do have the Seven of Swords here. This could be about somebody's infidelity. I feel like it's whatever this is, is something from the past. I feel like whatever this is, is something where something from the past still needs to be talked about and still needs to be settled and maybe to you it hasn't been. You're being told to bring it up and confront the issue, confront the problem. A lot of you have been avoiding talking to this person about whatever this is that you need to say to them. You actually need to bring this up to them so that the two of you can talk about it. This may trigger a new start for the two of you, especially for the ones of you that are still together. For the ones of you that have already broken up with this person, if, if, the, if the two of you are not dating anymore, I would still bring this up the next chance you get so that this can be something that stays in the past. Because for a lot of you, it's stuck with you. This person's near future actions towards you is the Nine of Swords, Emperor, Page of Cups, and Ten of Pentacles reversed. They don't really, I don't see them doing much at all towards you in the near future. I see them suffering in silence, keeping some type of information or fears or concerns to themselves. I don't know why they're not speaking up about this to you, but I do feel like there's something that they want to express to you that they feel like they can't say. Like I've said before, when it came to their feelings, it does feel like there's something that they're thinking or feeling that they would like to express to you, but they, they fear telling you. For a small portion of you, Somebody got somebody pregnant or somebody got pregnant on you and that is something that they're wanting to say because you do have the emperor here which is the father and the page of cups which is the child and the ten of pentacles reverse is the home and family card and that card is reversed. So someone could have created a broken family. That's for some of you, not all of you. Again, take that with a grain of salt. But someone could have had a child outside of the situation or someone is stressed about maybe a pregnancy in the current connection between you and this person, if that is possible. But I feel like what they're stressing about has something to do with a connection of theirs, either with you or someone else that has a lot of history behind it, but is not as stable as it once was. But I see them, like I said, not speaking on it towards you. I see them keeping it to themselves. But I see some like family issues or family matters that is stressing them out, either with someone they have a child with or with you, if that's you. This could be stress between them and their, um, and then one of their parents. I just see this person stressing about something that has to do with family or a connection that has a lot of memories, a lot of history, not being as together as it could be. In your outcome, you have the Two of Pentacles, Seven of Cups, Five of Cups, and the Temperance. Still see you being at peace or being unbothered, but it, in the future, it looks like it's after some type of period of a loss again or a sadness. So for the ones of you in a relationship with this person still, I feel like you're gonna start keeping your options open, but I don't see that making you happy, but I see you trying to accept the situation that you're in by keeping this particular person and keeping your options open and maybe entertaining another person. Others of you, I see you feeling like an option and being disappointed and sad about that as well. I see you feeling juggled 
because this person might be juggling you and someone else for some of you. For the ones of you that are single and had broken up, some of you could be juggling two people soon. I see things in your love life being in balance. Some of you could be trying to balance a relationship and work. This could be work and school. I just see you trying to find the balance between two things. But I see you having a lot going on in the future and I see you being upset that you're having a hard time doing it. But I see you also at the same time trying to remain positive as much as you can. But a lot of you have a hard time doing that because a lot of you have a, uh, a, lot of you have a glass half empty type of mindset. But trying to make peace with that glass half empty type of mindset. I see you feeling like there's a lot going on at once and some things that you had going on has spilled over or is lost. Or it doesn't happen the way you want it to us you being disappointed but also healing from this situation too for the singles do I see you being back together with this person not necessarily for the ones of you that are still in a relationship with this person I see things being rocky some of you are entertaining somebody new this person could still be entertaining someone else but see a lot of options a lot of not knowing what to do some of you are trying to adjust your schedule trying to prioritize the most important things in your life right now maybe not focus much on love if there's anything else you want in your outcome is really healing and peace what additional messages do you have for sag when it comes to this person and them stay optimistic about your love life positive thinking and faith will bring you romance like I said, a lot of you are going to try to be optimistic, but I see a lot of you being stuck in that glass half empty type of mindset and then snapping yourself out of it to think more positively so that you can continue to stay in a good mood. You have calling in your soulmate, your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. Some of you could be actively manifesting a new person and, never, and not even knowing it for real. Some of you do know it and doing it intentionally. That is confirmation that it is working. Any additional messages? And soulmate, yes, this is your soulmate. Like I said, some of you, I feel like are meeting somebody new and there's somebody here that maybe you are trying to fit into your busy schedule. Keep your options open. I feel like the next person is definitely a soulmate. But heavily suggesting that you open up about the things that you need to open up about so that this can close out for good. Others of you, so that the two of you can have a fresh new start and start completely over because a lot of you feels like that is needed at this time. Especially if there was some infidelity. This person could want to apologize to you whether they want to break up or stay together. This person could definitely want to apologize still. There's just a need to keep a very positive mindset this time because a lot of you are very much manifesting something either with this person or with someone else. And you need to keep a positive mindset so that whatever this is can come in exactly how you intend it to. But thank you guys for watching. If it resonates, click the like button and click here for more videos like this one. Bye.